just thrifting and is that a unicorn in the nativity? Nope, just a horse with blue hair. Carry on. Hello there. Happy December 1st. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and do Vlogmas this year. We'll see how it goes. I kind of pooped out on Vlogtober towards the end there. So we'll see if we can make it through Vlogmas. Um, even if I just do little bits each day, it might be doable. But yeah, so hey, I'm Michelle, Miss Strawberry Makes. Um, I knit, crochet, and sew. Uh, if you are a regular to my channel, you know that. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. If you are a regular, welcome back. Thanks for bearing with me and putting up with me, kind of pooping out on you <laughs> with Vlogtober. So I just posted a video yesterday to kind of wrap up the rest of October. So better late than never, right? Um, but yeah, so... I am still in Amy's house, still awaiting my wedding. It's still delayed, and but progress is being made, and the Lord has been good. So I put on my Christmas bedding this morning because I have been cold. I need my flannel sheets to keep me warm. So, but yeah, so I have a day off today. So I went and did some thrifting. Oh, since we last spoke, um, I had quit my full-time job thinking I was going to be getting married soon and be helping with that. But since things got delayed, I was like, well, change of plans and had to shift. And I actually ended up getting a part-time job at my favorite coffee shop as a cook slash baker. So pretty exciting. It was really neat how the Lord worked it all out. My arm's getting kind of tired of holding the phone here. But yeah, it was just really neat how the Lord worked it out. And it was obviously all in his perfect timing. So it's just really neat. So I work a couple days a week there. And but not today. So I went and did some thrifting. I'll show you what I found. That's of general interest. And thinking I might make some cookies this afternoon. So, um, oh, and I do have the dandelion and dogwood advent calendar, so I can open that as well. So might make myself a cup of something hot to drink, maybe some decaf coffee since it is afternoon and I'm getting to be an old lady. And yeah, I'll show you what I got. So here's my haul. So for non-Christmas, found this cute little rug with a teapot and a teacup on it. It's just little. And then this pretty floral towel. So, um, and then also, I, I don't know why I just have a thing for these um, children's shopping baskets. And this cute little Bless Beyond Measure sign. It's more fall looking. It's so cute. I got these little easels just for fun come in handy and then a bag full of vintage notions and things rick rack and stuff um so also non-christmas this men's flannel bathrobe it's a medium so it might be too small for mariah but if it is too small for him i might list it for sale but it's really nice it feels never used nice cotton flannel and um then I got this actually for my sister Kelsey. Um, she likes kind of the Victorian Christmas look. So I got her that. And then this is actually a vinyl tablecloth, but it's got such cute pictures on it. I thought she may be able to put that to use. And for me, I got this bath towel and then this groovy kitchen towel. This beautiful vintage Christmas book. Illustrations by Eloise Wilkin, who's my favorite really a beautiful and in good condition look and then this cute plate silent night on it very vintagey 
And then these set of six, I can't tell if they're towels or if they're napkins, but I'm gonna use them as napkins. Um, so they will be handy for that. I like cloth napkins. Probably won't use them this year, but can use them next year um, as this Christmas is gonna turn out different than I thought it would, of course, since I won't be married when I thought I would be. Um, and then also at a little bulk food store, um, got some yummy Andy's mint peppermint crunch baking chips, and then some mint green baking chips, stocked up on some lard, they have good lard. I also got these cute um, mini pie tins, look how cute those are, so just for fun. But yeah. Good things, and I'm happy with what I got. Also got a few articles of clothing, but I can show those.
depending on when I have time, I'll either bake those this afternoon or I might even wait and bake them tomorrow. So, um, in the recipe, I obviously omitted the peanut butter M&Ms and swapped it out for a bag of those Andes peppermint thingies. And I did half a cup of the little mint green ones too, the little minis. So I don't know what brand they are. They're just from that local store. So I'm sure you can find something similar though. I thought it'd be fun with the red and the green. So hopefully they're good. One other note, the recipe called for brown sugar. I didn't hit it. That's obviously light brown sugar. I didn't have any cause I'm out. So I just used dark brown sugar and it shouldn't really matter since they're going to be dark cookies anyway. So, but it'll work the same. And always, always, always hand wash Vintage Pyrex if you want to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs>